Welcome to the Family Fudge and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. From pumpkins and pancakes to Disney and dupes, in this week's video I have four really fun but super easy lunch ideas to share with you. On this channel I share all different kinds of lunch ideas every single week. So if you love fun lunch ideas too, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. First up, I'm making a lunch for my oldest daughter, Mackenzie, and since we are finally into fall, for her lunch, I'm going with an almost everything pumpkin theme. So many stores right now have all of the pumpkin and pumpkin spice foods available, and as you can see, I definitely stocked up. For Mackenzie's main course, I was super excited to find these roasted pumpkin and sage ravioli at Aldi. Now, I actually bought these around this same time last year and I was so happy to find them again this year because surprisingly all of my kids like these. These are definitely a savory pumpkin item which is kind of hard to find sometimes. Most pumpkin items tend to be sweet. Now because these are fresh pasta they really only take a few minutes to cook. And while these are cooking, I do want to go ahead and preheat Mackenzie's thermos. That way I can keep her raviolis piping hot until lunchtime. So once these raviolis are floating at the top, you know they're done. I'm just going to drain them. Then I'm going to add a bit of butter. I'm going to toss them around in that butter. Then I'm going to top it with a sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. So now that her main course is done, I'm moving on to the fruit and veggies. And for her fruit specifically, I have something special in mind. Now for the berries, I'm adding a combo of strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. And you guys, for the cream, this isn't just a regular cream. I was able to find this pumpkin spiced whipped cream at Aldi. This stuff straight up tastes like pumpkin pie. It's a 10 out of 10, would totally recommend. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. And now, keeping with the pumpkin theme, I'm also going to add some of this Harvest Pumpkin Greek Yogurt. This includes pumpkin yogurt and pumpkin granola. For Mackenzie's sweet treat, I'm throwing in a very special pumpkin cupcake. Now, I'm not usually a fan of these cupcakes, but I have to say that the pumpkin ones are pretty tasty. So definitely don't knock these until you try them. Now, last but not least, I'm going to try making my own pumpkin spiced milk. I got this idea from a drink I've seen all over Instagram, and it comes from Trader Joe's. To make this drink, I'm just gonna combine some oat milk and a little bit of non-dairy pumpkin spice creamer. And I'm hopefully gonna make something that Mackenzie will like.
Okay guys, so now moving on to my son Jackson's lunch. And for him, I'm putting together a hot lunch with lots of yummy things on the side. For Jackson's main course, I'm going to cook up a few of these bulgogi flavored dumplings. Now we get these at Costco in these huge bags and we love them. Normally I like to cook these on the stove top, but several of you guys gave me the idea to cook them in the air fryer instead. This is definitely a faster and easier way to cook them, but I do have to say it does make them crispy crispier so if you are a fan of chewier dumplings probably cook them the traditional way Next, to go along with these, I'm going to heat up these sweet cinnamon filled Korean pancakes. Now these are from Trader Joe's and they've actually been in my freezer for quite a few weeks now. So this is going to be our first time getting to try these. Now these come cooked but they are frozen so all you have to do is heat them up in a pan on both sides and then they're ready to serve. And I checked these out you guys, I was able to give them a little taste test and they are delicious. They're slightly crispy, a little bit chewy, and in the center it tastes like a cinnamon roll. I'd say the only downside to these is that each bag only comes with four and there are six people in my family, so next time I'll be buying two bags of these. Next for Jackson's lunch, I'm gonna be adding in some grapes, and these are actually the cotton candy grapes. I've been looking for these for several weeks now, and my store finally has them. These really do taste like cotton candy. Next, I'm gonna be adding some grape tomatoes. Jackson is one of my kids that loves tomatoes, so he gets them in his lunch quite often. And then over on the side here, I'm also gonna be adding in some celery sticks and in the center, I'm not gonna forget the ranch to go with them. And now last but not least for Jackson's drink, I'm just gonna be throwing in an apple juice. Next up, a lunch for Lily, and for her, I'm going with a Disney theme. Now, if you're new here, we actually live quite close to Disney World, and we like to go as often as we can. Since this week is actually Disney World's 50th anniversary, I wanted to make a Disney themed lunch. So I'm going to start out with a sandwich for Lily, and this is going to be kind of a cross between a peekaboo sandwich and an open faced sandwich. Now I think this sandwich turned out pretty interesting. I've definitely never made one quite like this before. Next, I'm going to add in some pineapple and this is to represent one of our favorite Disney World treats. 
Next, because I want to get a little bit more protein in here, I'm going to add some lightly salted edamame. Lily loves these. And right on top, I'm just going to add a little 50 cutout. This is actually just a couple pieces of carrots. Next, I'm adding in some Mickey and Minnie Mouse goldfish. These are perfect for any Disney-themed lunch. And then for Lily's sweet treat, I'm going to add just a bit of this caramel apple popcorn. Now, I found this at Target, and I thought this would be perfect for this Disney-themed lunch because it represents another of our favorite Disney treats. And now finally, I'm going to finish off this lunch with a pink lemonade drink with a Minnie Mouse topper. Okay guys, now that brings me to my son Griffin's lunch. And for him, I'm going to try to put together a copycat lunch inspired by Chick-fil-A. I'm starting this off with these Just Bear chicken nuggets from Costco. Again, we love these from Costco. We buy these all the time. And I really think that they are pretty close to the ones you'd get at Chick-fil-A. Now to get these nice and crispy, I do like to cook them in the air fryer. And when they're done, they look like this. They're definitely bigger than Chick-fil-A nuggets, but the taste is very similar. And you guys, I did go ahead and put a little paper towel in my thermos before I added the nuggets in there. And that's just to help absorb any excess moisture, and it's gonna hopefully keep these nuggets from getting too soggy. Next, to go along with these nuggets, I have Griffin's favorite sauce from Chick-fil-A. Now, I used to try to make my own Chick-fil-A sauce, but nowadays you can actually find this at Target and at Walmart. I'm gonna give Griffin just a little container of this. And you guys, I would love to know in the comments down below, what is your favorite chicken nugget dipping sauce? Next, I'm gonna add in lots of fruit salad because we love the fruit salad at Chick-fil-A. This is just a mixture of apples, strawberries, there's also blueberries, and my favorite, mandarin oranges. Next, I'm adding in some carrots because that's Griffin's favorite veggie these days. And to go along with the carrots, I'm also going to add some ranch. Now, usually at Chick-fil-A, we also love the waffle fries. But instead of adding fries that would definitely get soggy in this lunchbox, I'm going to add these waffle-like potato chips instead. And then you guys, for the sweet treat, since Chick-fil-A has some really good chocolate chip cookies, I'm gonna go ahead and add these mini chocolate chip cookies. And then finally, our favorite drink from Chick-fil-A is lemonade. So I definitely wanna add a lemonade into this lunch. Okay guys, now I hope you enjoyed all of these lunches and that they give you some ideas that you can use for yourself. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.